Hey guys, welcome to yet another video. Just wanted to make a small video talking about my plans. I will show you a few things in this video. First is the build. Um, second, I think the Atlas Passive Tree. And third, the plans. What will I be doing? How have I prepared? Uh, that sort of stuff. What I wanted to show you is the build in uh, writing, right? This is the Maxwell guide. I'll put that up in the video so you can have a look at it yourself. But the Maxwell by Belstron, great guide. And uh, this is something I haven't played before. I've played Toxic Rain before, but not uh, Ballista Totem Support. So yeah, and I haven't played, played uh, Pathfinder before either, but it's all there, all the labs, the build info, leveling skills, the whole shebang, great guide, uh, definitely recommend and I'll be playing this and basically following it to the letter. Then I want to talk a little bit about the planner that I have over here, I'll put that in as well. So I've made a Atlas tree, this is the new Atlas tree, so there are quite a few changes. And once again I am just optimizing this tree for fun. Um, yeah, I know it's weird, uh, but you can actually play this game for fun and not for currency. And as I am playing Solar Cell Found, which is one of the reasons I am playing Solar Cell Found, I play for fun and I just pick mechanics that I think are fun and I pick mechanics that I think will help my character progress through the game. So starting off here at the right, I don't take these uh, strong boxes immediately. I travel over here to the right i will probably pick up this pretty fast because you want to get your map completion right that is one of your first uh, priorities that you want to look at so i go over here shaping the mountains and these two nodes because you really want your maps to drop in higher tiers so you can progress through the atlas and get more of these points i will take stream of consciousness it is simply a 50% more base chance to contain extra content and this is all of the content. So as you're playing Solar Cell Found, I found that you really, especially at the start, but I think in general, uh, you, you need to make the most out of the resources you have, especially at a leak start scenario where you just don't have any currency, you cannot trade because you're playing Solar Cell Found. And so stream of consciousness, I feel really helps just getting more juice in the maps with almost no cost. You will not be putting scarabs in or fragments anyway because you don't have those. So for these three extra points, I'm taking stream of consciousness. And then I will path over here to the Kirak nodes because you really want your Kirak missions because they're gonna help you out a lot. I take these three nodes, these are new, but it is more chance to have your map drops at a tier higher. So that's another 15%. Then I will path over here for more map tier drop rates. I will path over here for more Kirak because uh, I really need that Kirak to be able to complete my Atlas. And then it's a little bit what I will feel like. Most likely I'll take strong boxes by now. So twice tempted for an additional strong box. And the strong boxes moved over here. They used to be in the center, but now they're over here. So. Uh, have a 6% chance to be an operative that drops a shitload of scarabs and uh, they are corrupted. Corrupted is good because uh, corrupted means that they can drop six links. So that is why I am taking this. That is also why I am taking the foul side areas. Here also a lot of gear is corrupted and corrupted gear has higher chances of being a six link and in Solar Cell Found, getting 6 link is really not that easy unless you start target farming specific cards, which I don't intend to do, which is also the reason why I cleared the entire game on a 4 link so far, except Uber bosses. So I'm taking this as well, and this is just to get me started. So now I have strong boxes, I got foul side areas, I'll probably go into shrines over here. I'll pick up uh, some spirits because this is something I really want to try out. This is some of the new tech out there. So tormented spirits over here as well. Tormented spirits in your maps can possess players for 20 seconds. I think this is just going to be fun. And like I said, I'm creating this tree for fun. Um, so yeah, that is what that is all about. 
Clearly I am going the Searing Exarch because this drops a ton of currency and you need currency. And another thing I personally like quite a bit is Ritual. So I am specking into Ritual. Uh, more favor, more rerolls, uh, less cost. Over here you have less cost. This is more Searing Exarch altars. I'm gonna try this most likely, the Meticulous Appraiser. Modifiers to quantity uh, will instead apply to rarity at 300% of their value. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if I see any difference. But yeah, I think rarity might help you find some of the uniques that you're looking for for certain builds. Uh, more ritual altars. Now you have always four in a map. That's pretty good. Also ritual on solo self found. I found to be pretty good actually. This offers you a lot of things that are otherwise sometimes really hard to get such as uh, offerings of the goddess you can find over here divine vessels pop out of those five links six links um, like all sorts it's literally like a garbage like a surprise bag of random stuff and a lot of random stuff you need and uh, besides i enjoy the mechanic so i'm going in for ritual i'm going in for the spirits um, I'm taking here some more uh, ritual and that is basically it and then the shrines the shrines as well here are some shrines here are uh, some shrines it just is once again I think fun you hit a shrine you you hit a double effect of the shrine you zoom zoom through the maps if you get one of those movement or you know haste shrines I think it is a lot of fun personally so yeah, that's the plan so far. I have uh, specced 113 points. That is more than reasonable because you get 115 from completing all the maps. Just completing all the maps. And then you need another 17 for much more difficult things, especially in SSF. So 113 is more than reasonable. I would in time probably get rid of some of these nodes, get rid of Kirak because in the long run, you don't need Kirak anymore. At some point, you have completed your maps. There's no real need for a, a Kirak wheel here. So I get some spare points and that likely means I'll be experimenting some more. Or maybe I'll temporarily put it into things like Blight, try to get my amulets fixed, or maybe I'll try out some of the cute dog tech that he thinks might work, which is uh, these kinds of things. Your rogue exiles are possessed by a tormented spirit um, and maybe there is sort of anti-synergy what you're looking for with the node over here that I'm taking that they can only uh, possess players which could be interesting because if that means that maybe uh, these rogue exiles are now not possessed but the spirits are still there and you have an 8% chance to contain 20 rogue exiles and then over here you have additional five rare monsters like you could end up with 30 40 spirits in your map that could all possess you that would be completely bonkers um but also a lot of fun so we're gonna try that out i might spec uh, sometimes into for example alva uh, do some temples that sort of fun right like just the fun stuff that you do in solar self found i'll spec into whatever i feel like doing at the time and yeah but this is the setup and then finally, I wanted to talk a bit about the plans. So it is currently almost four o'clock. That means that in six hours, the lake is going to start. I will be streaming. I've uh, put up a planned stream already here on YouTube. So feel free to join me if you're interested. I would love having you there. We're uh, gonna blast until maps. Hopefully in about six hours, we would be reaching maps and uh, that would be i think a good result then it was also 4 a.m so uh, not a bad time to go to sleep then i suppose i just woke up at a normal time today um, so there's that and um, i have the whole week off i took an entire week off mostly because of this and also because like it's summer i've been working all year i think this is my first week off in the year so far so yeah um you can expect at least quite a few streams and maybe i'll do a bit of like a you know a journal video and record and video log my progress especially if there's maybe some interesting finds or 
just my initial experiences. The first day I will not be interacting too much with the league mechanic. I really just want to get to maps and depending how I feel and how awake I am in basically 12 hours, we'll see uh, what's next. Um, but only in maps I will start to really interact with the league mechanic. Um, I just want to get to maps, get to the fun part of the game, get the campaign over with, do all the, you know, the, the lab and, the, and that kind of stuff, and then just start working my way down the priority list. So that is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. And that's also it for the video. I will link everything in the description including the stream. So, once again, feel free to join over there. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching for now. And uh, like and subscribe, of course, yeah, as we do. And I hope you have a great league start. I really do You have a great league start. And um, yeah, let me know what your plans are, what you're going to play. Love to hear from you in the comments. Enjoy yourselves, to uh, enjoy yourselves tonight, guys. And uh, see you all soon. Bye-bye.